Hello, welcome back, encore une fois, to me, myself, and I playing Afterbirth. Now, if you remember, in yesterday's uh, daily, we were the benefactors of picking up Eden's Blessing. Eden's Blessing gives you a free bonus item when you start a new run, and I was really hoping, beyond all hope, uh, that I would have it right now. However, <laughs> I forgot about it, started practicing with the lost on greed mode on my other save file uh, and because I was playing as a lost just for basically for the shits and giggles oh here it is again well I guess we took it um, I didn't notice whether I had an extra item <laughs> at the start of it all so I may have wasted my Eden's blessing or I may simply have it for a run in the future anyway we've taken it again I don't really know how this works out, is what I'm saying. We'll take this pill now. Retrovision, well, that's obviously everybody's favourite pill, because it makes everything look weird. I don't like this pill. We're playing Maggie. We've been salty about Maggie before. Low damage, low speed, lots of HP. Uh, we probably don't really need to run through all the disadvantages of Maggie, but we do have to get all the way to what I believe is uh, the blue baby fight. So <laughs> we're going to have to be lucky enough to get a decent amount of damage. There's no way we could do a blue baby fight on Maggie's base damage by any stretch of the imagination. So, that Ragman takes forever to die, he's so tanky. What do we do? We hope. We have to take uh, Devil Deals if we can, which means we really have to protect our red HP, because although we can like, we, we can fix our red dam red heart damage. Ooh, that's a good start. We can fix our red heart damage. I will leave now. Uh, we don't want to be taking it. So we want to be replacing this item ASAP. This is a bad time to be thinking about taking red heart damage. Let's get rid of these things quickly. Uh, and this is also very easy to get ourselves penned in here. So let's get rid of these, because those two flies look like they have confused themselves on the corner, which is fine with me. Although they've confused me with the corner as well. Oh dear, dear, dear. Right, there we go. Just take these flies out carefully. Try not to... And a spirit heart helps a great deal. We are going to be looking for a key. We want to get in here. On the off chance that it contains something amazing. The spirit heart will protect these red hearts as long as I play okay. And we have the damage up from the pentagram to assist. Uh, which it basically pulls us out of the initial Maggie slump of having poor damage. We've got okay damage now. We've got a reasonable amount of damage. There is a... Oh, being careful there. Um, there's a mod that will show you your stats in raw numeric format, but I think I've talked about it before. I don't really want it. Uh, I like the idea of it, and I think it would be possibly quite useful to have on videos so that we can see how we're doing and show how, how these items work. Careful. But... I think there's a certain amount of... If you know that you have M amount of damage, there's a certain temptation to just go to play to it, if you see what I mean. Because you know that you're doing three damage, there's a tendency to either play more or less aggressively, depending on who you are. Your per <laughs> oh, very close. Your personal play style. Whereas if you think you're doing okay damage, then you will play with okay damage in mind. If you think you're doing shit damage, you'll play with shit damage in mind. It gives you the opportunity to underestimate how well you're doing. Or overestimate and be cocky about it. Uh, and thus introduces a certain level of nuance to the gameplay. So, while it's nice to know the exact stats and to know what things do, I think the level of guesswork is built into the game and we should sort of honour that. So, I mean, I'll take caffeine pill because we don't really have a choice about it. Uh, and I kind of want both of these? If we can get BFFs, then multi-dimensional baby is amazing. But we seem to be out of opportunities to uh, get any more keys. I think I'll take the time to... Hmm, should I take the time to backtrack all the way to that curse room? I don't think it can give us a key. We're just going to have to sacrifice this floor, I think. In the interest of doing boss rush, because we also need to do hush. Uh, and... Hmm, <laughs> we picked up the pentagram. And the pentagram will be a good damage bonus for the rest of the next couple of floors, I think. 
especially if you can actually get some benefit out of said flaws. Those multi-dimensional babies are really helping out against these assholes. And this I will do. Look down. Not brilliant. Never mind. It's not It's not a nail in any particular coffin, a look down grade, but it's not something we really want to be running with. We won't take another one if we can possibly avoid it. I think that's going to be the best way to uh, to deal with that hill. So after this wave is bonies, I think. Ah, uh, no, these ones. Eyeless ooze. Wow, I got stuck on the... Uh, because the chest didn't move, because it used to be a pedestal, it pushed me back into the the, the, the enemies. What an arsehole. So you did it again. Try and kill it, if you can possibly manage it. There we go, there we go, there we go. Yeah, be careful with those, um, those chests there. If they used to be pedestals, they don't move out of your way. Uh, careful. Let's... Oh, I dodged into it. Well, I didn't dodge into it. I tried to dodge. Thought I had. There was a hole in the way. Still, we've got our spirit heart helping us out. Interesting. We don't have enough HP to make that workable. Um, besides which, actually, now I think about it, there's very little benefit to doing it because we're going that far anyway. I understand there's a teleportation bonus, so you get points for doing the teleportation, but if it offsets the amount of effort you have to go to to actually achieve it, uh, you know, rather... Well, it will offset it, I assume, but if it doesn't, I'm not doing it. And even if it does, you know, that's, it's probably not worth it. I'm not prepared to go to that much effort. Let's see if we can uh, bolster our spirit heart protection somewhat. We can go to this item room, which is Headless Baby, which is not the worst baby in the world. It does give us some creep damage, which means I can get enemies in the way they keep getting me. Yeah, we're doing okay today. Uh, and yesterday, so... Maybe the slump is over, or maybe we're just getting a couple of good runs. I'm not entirely sure those things are significantly different from one another. These things, though, are pure hate. Although I have executed a couple of dodges that I'm already proud of. A sack. Yeah, no. Okay, well, we'll yeah, let's go to the shop, see if there's something we can buy. We will definitely buy the bread candle, because it's better in every way. For everybody involved. We should blow this majigger up for a nickel which we'll spend on that spirit hut. Great! We will go to the curse room because I expect it to be a lot closer to the boss than the previous one was. Yeah, very close to the boss in fact. Careful hit, careful hit. Good. Um, not quite on target, never mind. Definitely on target, perfect. Um, where are you landing? Thank you. Wow! Careful. Uh, the reason I didn't want to go to it before the boss is I didn't want to risk taking red heart damage during the boss fight. Which we didn't. It was a pretty quick boss, actually. And we might as well take super bandage. It's more spirit hearts and more red hearts. I mean, not having red hearts is not a big deal. It's not like we have Horror Babylon or uh, Empty Vessel or anything like that. Nothing that benefits us to have no red HP. Uh, and in fact, now we can possibly play the Blood Banks. Uh, and get decent value out of deals with the devil. That was really not worth doing that curse room, but you never know. You have to try. Hmm. Yes, this way. So we'll leave this floor slightly behind time, I feel, but not not extraordinarily. That clock. So deceptive. Deceptive clock. That was uh, a very risky dodge that I failed to execute correctly. I really hate this room. It's so little room to manoeuvre. There's always a Tinted Rock in it. There's often a Tinted Rock in it. So we got our HP back. Can't really complain, but I'm going to. Uh, how did you fail? <laughs> I was only shooting in one direction. I was only moving in one direction, and yet the flame bounced anyway. Well, isn't that interesting? Said no one ever. If I can... You can't really entice these things to go where you want them to. You just have to hope for the best. Uh, please don't go where I don't want you to, do. Turn around? No. Wow. I really, really dislike randomly moving enemies, as I have mentioned several times. You can't predict them. You have to sort of hope that you're shooting in the right direction. Careful. 
Well, we're in here, so... Ooh, yes. What have you got for me? Something good? Pills. Retro... Wow, power pill, perfect. Come on. Get the most out of it. Yeah! Wow, that was a perfect pill. That chap. Ah! It was good for me, but he didn't get any of the HP that he actually really wanted. Let's get some more coins out of this. Possibly blow these things up for a better devil chance. No bombs! Alright then. Uh, since we did that, I'll do this. It's very risky because we don't have any HP left, but whatever. What's life without risk? And this has a chance of blocking off our exit. Which it didn't. What did it do? Nothing. Well, whatever. It made a good noise, but it didn't do a good thing. Like many people I know. Like Facebook. Sharing all those likes to try and help out people in disadvantaged situations. Lots of noise, no good. Ah, a boss trap room though, which we can do because... Ah, okay. Because we have no red HP. Which wasn't planned, but works out. Keep shooting it with a multi-dimensional baby for as long as we possibly can. Try not to get shot yourself. Pick that up. This is uh, probably going to be a reasonably easy boss trap room. Especially if I continue to dodge correctly rather than like the muppet that I've been dodging the past couple of weeks. Cool, and we're getting our red HP back, which uh, is confidence inspiring. Unfortunately, we'll all have to do this room. Luckily, this room is not that bad. I would like to try and break this thing before it gets too late. We haven't really picked up anything since the pentagram to bolster our damage. Uh, actually, is Roid Rage a damage upgrade? I think it might be. Um, so we're slowly pulling ourselves out of the Maggie Miasma. We've already solved the problem of having far too much red HP by selling it all. Nothing in that room. Nothing worth dropping. Apparently. I don't deserve a, a, a reward for beating that slow ass room. I really hate these things. Oh, I nearly got hit and I didn't even. I was not cognizant of the fact. Our creep's really helping out, I think. It's hard to. It's hard to credit it. Because it's not necessarily too obvious that it's happening. But whenever something's chasing us down, like those silkworms do, uh, a greed fight can be beaten with fire, maybe? Kill it with fire? Oh, I was going to say not ideal, but he walks into it anyway. Perfect. Right, let's, uh, let's bomb our way out of here. Bomb in the sense of go really fast, not bomb in the sense of explosive devices, because obviously that's not going to work for us. That's not how Isaac is played. Yeah, actually, that being said, you can bomb your way out of every single room up to the chest. Or dark room, so. Uh, and now we really, really can. We should probably be looking for secret rooms, and I'm suspecting there's one here. Ah, good guess. Uh, I didn't mean to play you. Wow, really? <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen either. Honestly, I thought that at the bottom of the floor, I was safe. Shows what I know. And how do I even deal with this room? Huh? Fast. Apparently. Uh, we can possibly stand to do this and then run the hell away. I'm also half considering that maybe there's a secret room here. I was wrong. It's been known to happen. I could have done all that with one bomb, it turns out, but... I mean, how are you supposed to know that until you've done it? Speed fires dotted around. Hopefully, eventually, they'll run into them. And if they don't, which they did... You know, they're there. There's a lot of damage you can do with these red fires, which is why I thought it was such a great pickup. It especially means that you can sort of fuck, fire and forget your damage, leave it lying around on the ground. That was a bit of an awkward dodge just now, when he hit me. Uh, there was nowhere I could be, which is a shame. And I didn't take red heart damage. But also, I didn't get to deal with the devil, which makes me sad because I have the pentagram and I blew up a beggar. So, uh, go fuck yourself, game. You're a dick. That was a very good room. Let's try and go a little bit quicker. Uh, let's see if we can do this sort of thing. These things are super difficult to deal with because they can shoot you from across the floor even though you can't necessarily see them from across the floor. And I'm stuck on holes again. 
I think my major failing at the moment is not doing silly dodges, but failing to recognise that I'm about to dodge into a hole or pit or rock. You know, I can't do the dodge I'm attempting to execute. Good. Uh, just a little bit more Isaac proprioception is necessary at this stage. It'll come. We're definitely doing better than at the end of last year, so... Uh, I can't be upset about that. We've gone from 2,000th to 200th overnight. Almost literally overnight. And I did say BFFs with this chat is probably decent, so I will, I'll take it. Do I want chaos? I'm going to suggest yes. It's almost always a good idea. Two hearts? Mm. I don't really want to be taking the red heart damage, because it's going to severely hamper our deal with the devil opportunity. Unless I do it to myself, i.e. use a blood bank. See, I'm even paying attention to creep today, which is outrageous. Ten bombs, don't mind. Uh, but if we do take red heart damage, we'll just have to not be salty about it. Because that would be worse for us than having taken it. It might be a morale boost uh, hit, but, you know, morale is the... Morale is the mind killer. Bad morale is the mind killer. I want to get rid of all these poops, because I'm going to walk into the neutral fly whilst... Trying to pick up the money from this golden poop, I'm sure of it. Fear is the mind killer. It's not fear that's going to be the problem. Well, we'll do it. I think it's worse than points. Uh, I think we can probably get through it without taking inordinate amounts of damage, i.e. any. Ooh. Whoa, there's three of them. These things do not assist with the not taking damage uh, part of the game that I was really hoping to achieve. Let's do that. Baiting these things is something that I have also got to learn about. It's sort of not learn about, I understand the concept. It's not a difficult concept. What I need to do is actually do that. Baiting them is basically the way to win against them. Nothing there either. Well, we do have a ridiculous amount of bombs, so... Uh, excuse me? <laughs> I think that fire just went straight through you and you took no damage. Yeah, but controlling them is is basically how you play this half the half the battle of this game. Half the battle is positioning, being in the right place when the enemy is fire. The other half of the battle is making sure they're in the right position when they fire. So if you can control them in any way, you damn well should. Well, this is absolutely worth re-rolling until we get something decent. But bomb's not going to be good. Sacred Heart is. Unfortunately, still no spirit hearts. Look at what Sacred Heart does for a bit. How good is that? This is turning out to be a really good Maggie run. Salty as I usually get about Maggie runs. Uh, I'm very much a fan of this one. And this is Dank Depths 1. And this might be a spirit heart for us? No, but it is small rock. <sighs> Just don't take too much damage versus war and we should be okay. Now the main point of damage against this particular war is going to be the possibility that he drops all these troll bombs and beats the shit out of us. However, we have to beat the shit out of him. And we got our deal with the devil, so we managed to do that entire floor without taking any damage, which is outrageous. And we got a lump of coal, which is great, because I wouldn't have wanted to take Krampus' head at that point. There is one raw room, but we've got to get to the mom fight. Which is looking less likely, actually. I know we were going pretty fast, and I was feeling good about it, but actually... Uh, we should probably rethink our uh, likelihood of success. Although we're going a lot faster now, thanks to... Um, Sacred Heart here, and also having picked up this ball of bandages with BFFs already, basically our tears are now sufficient and I'm not going to be using Red Candle so much, uh, which is not to say I'm not going to be using Red Candle at all and not to say that Red Candle is no longer useful, it's just not going to be my primary damage dealer anymore. Uh, should I go back for those bombs? Maybe. Can I hurt these like this? No. Another one? No. Alright. Just uh, keep at it. Sacred Heart is uh, homing tears as well as damage. Uh, infamy. I'll probably take this. Oh, careful. <laughs> yeah, I've been there before. Do do do. Just gonna keep going in this direction. It feels bossy. If we know where the boss is, we can make an educated guess as to whether we want to try anywhere else looking for 
and the, the item room, for example, or whether we feel like we're just doing well enough. So we have found the boss. Uh, which we have to... Oh, careful. We have to beat the boss last. So we will try and find the item room for sure, but I don't know where to look, apart from a long way away. Uh, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to skip it because I want to make sure that we can beat Mom in time. And it's going to... We've got a minute. And I don't think it's going to take a full minute. But I also don't want to risk that. I don't want to be wrong about that. You know what I mean? Do uh, orbital damage to Mom's sword is the, the best best opportunity we've got here. Because we're extremely powerful and it took us 12 seconds. So I probably could have stood to maybe slow down a bit there. Go looking like I expected to. I don't want scatter bombs. That's going to hurt like shit. I think I want to take the damage to pick up money equals power. I think it's worth it. Uh, we don't have a lot of money right now, but that's okay. Uh, these are two enemies that I do not want to see in the same room at the same time, if you can possibly avoid it. Let's try and use Red Candle. I think we're going to get a lot more out of Red Candle here than we would have uh, the rest of the floor. Sacred Heart is going to be a strong contender for most damage dealt as well. Uh, just try not to die. We do have the two hearts to back us up. Uh, but we've got very mobile enemies to start with here. This is not necessarily the the best start to this particular endeavour. Okay, we're doing alright. Let's, uh, let's just dot some fires around. If things hit them, things hit them. I think that's going to be the uh, strategy for this fight is to just put fires here and there and see if anything walks into them. If they do, so be it. That's going to be brilliant for us. Did the pin just walk into all my shots and die? Like a mofo. I think it might have done. See, our shots haven't got the hugest range. Um, Sacred Heart is a very strong shot speed down. So, uh, hello. Thank you for joining us. There's a red heart, so we don't have to use our two hearts anytime soon, but we really need to keep an eye on that HP, because if we get too close to the end of our pathetic little lives, really? Chances of that happening just before I decided to move. I feel like that was a little bit of a setup, actually, if you don't mind me saying so, bloke. Don't know what's giving us this HP. Old bandage? We get, no, we've got a super bandage. Uh, there's a... There's just a random... <laughs> random spirit heart. Okie dokie. I'm not going to say no to that. Actually managing to dodge between shots for once, which is definitely something to be uh, proud of, I think, for me. Avoiding silly damage at, at the best of times, not necessarily at the worst of times, but not taking a considerable amount of damage on this exact floor, which is the goal. Uh, well, this exact room, I suppose I should say. Uh, there's some silly damage because somebody left a poop in the ground. And it hurts. Try and get multi-dimensional baby to be in a sensible position so that we can double our damage at least. I think it does more than double our damage because it's going to have two shots coming out of it, obviously. Which I believe are based on our tier stat, but then we've got BFF on top of it, which is what I mentioned earlier on. Which I'm expecting to even further amplify the damage from said baby. Now, the hush, uh, the hush, the ghost here is going to be a pain in the ass. Because I don't know if I can hit it when it's over those rocks. So my options are to kill it really, really fast. Okay, good. I'm happy with that option. No. Careful with Loki. I'm expecting any larger enemies than Loki that spawn over here to spawn on top of that poop, basically, and take damage from it. At least, that's what I'm going with. Uh, not a fan of this. Too many bullets on the screen. And we're going to have to try and do a hush as well, don't forget. Um, which is an even more bullet hellish fight than this one's turning out to be. I can't see these, um, these rocks. I'm having trouble, I'll be honest. I, I didn't spot the fact I was stuck on a rock. It just didn't seem to matter because I didn't want to move anymore, but I was. I was temporarily enrocked. Enruptured. What did I stand on? Whatever. Where are you? There you are. Be careful with that one. He can be a bastard when he shoots you. 
It's not necessarily possible to. Oh, I caught that shot. It's not necessarily possible to know where it's going to be when it. Uh, or where, where to be when it fires with the Bendy Brimson. Christ, seriously? Is this happening to me? It's doing so well. Uh, hello. I'm pretty sure I put a fire just where you decided to jump away from. Thanks for. Uh, just ruining my grand strats. Oh, and we got this. This is a zodiac, right? Yeah. So this is going to give us a random zodiac effect for every single floor from now on, which is really cool. Depending on what particular zodiac effect we get. But some of them are excellent. Some of them are less so. Like Leo will slow us down quite a lot uh, and give us the opportunity to accidentally stand on rocks that hurt us. Oh, hello. So what have we got here? Uh, can't really tell. Probably not going to blow that. Uh, we'll blow that up because we have money equals power. Money equals power makes money worth having, and bombs less so. So we're still back on our red hearts uh, exposed situation, which is okay. You know, it's not it's not going to be the end of us necessarily, but we're not going to get our deal with the devil if we take any red heart damage. Or at least we can't assume one. We can't guarantee one. We can't expect one. We have to assume that we're not going to get one if we do take red heart damage. So, if the game would see its way to giving us some way of having uh, protection against taking said damage, then that would be valuable. Or if I just continue to play like this. I believe Super Bandage can pay out with Spirit Hearts, but I wouldn't swear to it. And the little bit of extra range you get. Six room. Of course there's a fucking six room. Why would there not be a six room on an awesome run like this? Hmm. I'm going to not play the six. I know. But for once, we're having a really, really decent Maggie run. And therefore, we owe it to ourselves and everybody else. To stick with it. Uh, I'm going to look for Tinted Rocks. I know we have Hush to get to, but I'd still like a bit of a peace of mind. We're not going to die in the imminent future. I'd like to avoid being anywhere near these things when they actually explode, because dodging their six-way shots is not the easiest thing in the world. I dodged that, though. No! <laughs> so I didn't get a fucking deal with the fucking devil, even though I didn't take any hearts, red heart damage on the wound one. Whatever. Game. You win this time. I'm going to be looking for more money. Uh, yeah, this is probably a good opportunity for it. I'm not going to play it because I'm scared of our HP, but we can do that. And uh, maybe get some money that way. Yes, we can. The half a heart is actually valuable because we did take the Polaroid. If we find ourselves having taken red heart damage, we can pick up the half heart. And put ourselves. Oh, there's another one. Put ourselves in a situation where every half heart damage we take from then on keeps us at a half heart interval because every piece of damage is a full HP. Uh, which means we end up on half a heart when we have nearly run out of HP. Which means at that point we will have an invincibility period, thanks to the Polaroid, because the Polaroid gives you invincibility when you get down to half a red HP or less every time you get hit. Uh, where is this thing? I fucking hate these things. You have to find them and then not run into the shot that they've fired because they can see you and you can't see them. This might be worth doing because there's just so many things here. Yep, I can get everything out of that. There was this tinted rock. Uh, I will <laughs> have you know. Probably should have waited to use the sun. Never mind. Um, but the tinted rock contained no value. Oh, this could be worthwhile. Uh, it wasn't remotely worthwhile. How are there no pills and all of that? Money, though. Money is fine, because money equals power, and there's more money. Alright, we're getting stronger with the 39 cents. That's maybe 2 damage up, I think? It's 0.4 damage up per thingy, so I'm not going to do the maths on that. 1.6? 40 would be 1.6, right? Can you please hit the thing? With the thing. Thank you. Plenty of time to get to... Oh, I didn't mean to go this way. Plenty of time to get to Hush. Oh, close. Uh, and we've got the red candle. The red candle is kind of valuable against Hush. Uh, what with it being able to be used reasonably often. And you can, as noted, fire and forget the damn thing. 
Uh, careful hit. I don't want to get hit. I got hit. It is reasonably difficult to not get hit by mom's heart, but at the same time, I feel I should be capable of it by now. So let's go down. Let's sort this out. We have got eight keys, which wasn't intentional. I just happened to not be using keys. We need seven, so one, two, three, four. Guppy's head is pretty decent, but it's not going to beat the red candle for us, I'm afraid. And we can certainly consider use. Uh, yeah, shield it is. We can certainly consider using. Uh, what was I going to say? The bombs that we've got. <laughs> Here's even more. I wonder if these will. That's probably a bad thing, considering the other one was a relic. Oh, well, it's done. What's done is done. Oh, that could kill us. <laughs> In a very entertaining fashion, I'm sure, but it's probably going to kill us. Why are there no. I'm going to do it again. Uh oh. Why are there no fucking. What did I pick up? Some. Two of hearts. Two of hearts is probably worth it the most. Why is there so many bomb items? Oh my god. <laughs> what is happening here? Oh. Alright, be careful of those. I think they turn up after every so many. shots that you fire? We picked up shielded tears, that's what lost contact does, which means our tears will shoot their tears. Which means it's very difficult, unless you've got a huge rate of fire, or red candle, to actually get any shots to, to land. Right. Uh, Hush is here. Hello, Hush. Hello. Hello, shoes. But we can beat the bullet hell of Hush by being in sensible positions. We just have to remember to move whenever we hear that fart noise. Okay. Ready? Well, I'm happily accidentally shooting the bombs into the enemy, which is valuable. So if in fact just step backwards when we hear that noise, we'll be fine. This could take a lot longer than it has done before, for the simple reason that half of our oh shit, half of our shots are being, you know, spent on the hush's shots. But that's fine. You know, we're we're not in a rush. Hush is the rush. I mean, oh, careful, we'll lose some, ah, we'll lose some time bonus for this, but I don't really care about that so much. What I care about is not dying to all my bombs because I thought that it would be funny to take the number two. Uh, it may have been, let me know, <laughs> it turns out to have been funny to take the number two because I could die here. We did pick up the two of hearts and we have got the latch key, which is a luck upgrade. And all these free bombs are very valuable. But unfortunately, we're going to have to move during this phase, which is not something you want to do most of the time. Because once you've found yourself in a sweet spot, you fucking stay there, yeah? Keep it. Keep your sweet spot. Have we got homing bombs? When did we get homing bombs? I don't think we do. I think we're just getting lucky. With the direction that they're being shot in. Right, it doesn't look like we do. Oh shit. Help. Now the hard bit here is going to be those nubs that he... Oh, didn't see that. That uh, uh, summons. Are we doing damage here? Maybe. Could just sort of stop shooting, but if I stop shooting, I'm more likely to get hit. Because the shots are destroying its shots. Oh, uh, we're slow. We're very slow. Should have used the two hearts before. I didn't. I. I didn't. That was terrible. Help me. I'm gonna die. We're okay. Shit. But this was a terrible idea. <laughs> I wonder what the reroll looked like. Where are you? Help. <laughs> Oh jeez, this is really hard. Oh god, <laughs> what's happening? I'm gonna die here. This is gonna be the end of it. It's all over. No! We beat it, <laughs> we died. Oh lord, that was hard. So, here's a piece of advice. Don't do what I did, alright? Cool. Well, I'm glad we got that sorted out. There's us. 1763, th we died. 
1763rd having died, I think is okay. And I had fun. <laughs> oh, what a fun run that turned out to be. Bombs everywhere. Poopy bombs everywhere. Wow. Well, thank you for watching. <laughs> I'm going to go and lie down. <sighs> Deep breath. <gasps> Come back tomorrow. <sighs>